So we're going to kind of keep in mind what we talked about in Chapter 6 about the formation of our solar system. Our solar system formed from what we call a solar nebula. And um, we talked about the fact that there was something we call a frost line that kind of differentiated closer to the um, closer to the proto-sun early on, or closer to the sun, it was warmer. So we only had things like metals and rock go ahead and um, liquefy or condense. And then beyond the frost line, we had these hydrogen-containing compounds condense. And then we said that actually that's why we have um, these kind of gaseous planets beyond, formed from beyond what we call the frost line. So just kind of looking at the gaseous planets, we have four of them. Um, from the closest uh, Jovian or gaseous planet outwards. So we have Jupiter and Saturn, and they look, kind of look similar, and that's, we'll kind of find out that they have similar composition in their clouds. And then we have Uranus and Neptune, and they have a, a similar kind of, a, a pretty blue appearance. And again, it has to do with the, um, actually the compound methane, or CH4, in their atmosphere makes them blue. So, um, Saturn and Jupiter are mostly made of gaseous hydrogen and helium, whereas Uranus and Neptune, the blue planets, um, they, they have um, hydrogen-containing compounds um, in addition to hydrogen and helium. So I mentioned methane, CH4, is actually what makes these, these, these gaseous planets blue. So just to kind of remind you what we talked about in Chapter 6, was that um, these gaseous planets then would have formed in the outer part of our solar nebula, in the planetary disk, where the, um, we could go ahead and have these hydrogen-containing compounds go ahead and start to um, condense and um, accrete into little planetismals, or excuse me, into little, um, uh, yeah, planetismals, and they got larger and larger, and, and the rest is history. So at the core of every gaseous planet is a little terrestrial planet. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, but it's true. These, uh, we believe the gaseous planets have rocky cores. Um, now each gaseous planet or Jovian planet does differ in the amount of gaseous hydrogen and helium associated with them. And why they differ can be attributed to two things. One is timing. Uh, at what point were they scavenging the, um, the solar nebula to gather material to make themselves a planet? And um, the other is location. Where are they relative to that, that kind of warm, toasty proto-sun? The closer they are in, then the, the perhaps less access they, they're going to have, maybe, to some of these hydrogen-containing compounds. So we definitely have kind of a difference in density. Um, density is kind of how packed in or how fluffy an object is. And the way you read this, I believe this is in units of grams per milliliter. So in Jupiter, if you take the whole planet Jupiter, it runs, um, looks like it's about 1.4 grams per milliliter, um, which means that's how much, um, that's how fluffy it is, or it's kind of compact, actually. Um, Saturn, on the other hand, weighs less per milliliter. And actually, Saturn, its density is so light that if you were to put it in a large tub of water, Saturn would float in water, because water has a density of about one gram per milliliter. And then notice Uranus is more dense than Saturn, and Neptune is more dense than Uranus. So um, the density of Uranus and Neptune kind of makes sense because they do have more of these compounds and less of the hydrogen and helium gas. But how can we explain the density of Jupiter versus Saturn? Why is Jupiter so dense? Well, if you remember that Jupiter is the largest of our planets in our solar system, it's the largest of the gaseous planets, and it's also the most massive. So it's largest in volume and, and greatest in mass. So with that in mind, if you think of Jupiter, kind of the edges of Jupiter, as kind of pulling in, pushing in on the inside of Jupiter, basically. It's much like even pillows are fluffy, right? Just like hydrogen and helium are fluffy. But if you pile up enough hydrogen and helium, it's going gonna, it's gonna <laughs> to 
squish the pillow at the bottom. Okay, that's kind of what we have going on with regard to the mass associated with that great Jovian planet Jupiter kind of making it dense. Okay, so that's why Jupiter is so dense relative to Saturn.